What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a new report that says Rockstar is going to be remastering Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas uh, as part of this push, obviously, to do remasters, remakes, those kind of things. So this has been long in the making. You know, we've talked about these rumors uh, many, many times over the past couple months. People, and, and look, honestly, there's so many names and so many times this has been brought up. I don't even know who to give credit to, but I know that it's not the people who reporting on it right now you know the IGNs of the world and all that stuff I think Kotaku is the one who broke the report today that this is uh, you know in fact going to happen it's going to be in 2021 it's actually rumored to I guess you know reported to happen late October early November have this release it would be digital only not disc which is actually quite interesting to me digital only uh, it's going to be basically on everything but there's also going to be obviously PC but also I believe uh, most mobile a port of this but the pc and mobile port could potentially be delayed till 2022 just because of stuff around the world and they want to make sure you know everything comes out in a good uh condition so you know it was kotaku that reported today but again many people had leaked this and talked about leaks and rumors over the past couple months again i don't know i don't remember names because there's been so many kind of waves of this but those are the people i believe that deserve um full credit for all this okay so i think it's very exciting i guess well, one other thing in terms Terms of catching you guys up on the news and then I'll kind of talk about my uh, impressions of it the rumor also goes on that they are looking to remaster Red Dead the first game Red Dead Redemption they'd be looking to remaster it now again all of these are remasters Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City and San Andreas those three games would be in one package okay in one package deal and that would be a remaster so they're not remaking it they would use I believe it says uh, they'd be using Unreal Engine and will be a mix of new and old graphics I don't exactly know what that means. Uh, well, I guess, like, if you remaster things, does that... Uh, I assume that means, like, you leave some stuff alone and you remaster other things. For games as old as that, though... Like for Mass Effect, when you did Legendary Edition, if you told me for Mass Effect 2 and 3 that, that you know, they use old graphics and new graphics, I'd believe you because the games aren't all that old in the first place. But for games that are, you know, what we're talking about here, I don't exactly know how you do that, so that's a little bit confusing. But still, I would say overall, well, look... Um, uh, I, I should say factually or like how I personally feel I would have preferred a remake I understand the differences and I understand how much harder and how much more time and how much more work a remake would have you know cost them and taken you know uh, time wise for them I get it it's just I think you know for these games they're very special to a lot of people um, I, I and now to be honest with you I feel like I've played parts of Vice City in my past but I don't believe I've really played any of these games uh, too extensively I really I jumped into games when I was a lot older in terms of like 12, 13, and I, maybe that's old for, for like gaming people's, uh, you know, ages. I did play games when I was younger than that, but I played like Spyro, Crash, Sly. Those were kind of my games. It wasn't exactly GTA. And I, and I respect the franchise uh, quite a bit, but I've never been the, uh, the biggest fan. But with that being said, this is a good timing. You know, late October, early November, that is right around, I believe, November 11th or 15th, somewhere in the uh, you know middle of November, is GTA 5. Five's, you know, enhanced edition on next gen, which I do plan on getting. I had the game. I bought it for PS3. I never got it for PS4. And then now, you know, I'll try it again uh, for PS5. So it seems like a fall period where it's a lot of remembering what GTA, you know, has been over the years. And, uh, you know, until obviously we get GTA 6 in, in a couple more. So I think it's exciting. Honestly, I've always liked Red Dead more, just to kind of throw that in there. So the idea of remastering Red Dead 1, which I think is a phenomenal game, I would take that. You know, there, I guess the early rumors for Red Dead, and I do remember this because I do believe I covered this, whether it was one or even two years ago on this channel, it's a very old video, that there were rumors of a remake for Red Dead. So it doesn't seem like that's going to be a remake. It seems like it's going to be a remaster. But that doesn't mean games like Bully or Max Payne, stuff like that. Like maybe they get the remaster treatment. Maybe they get the remake treatment. It seems like remastering makes the most sense to, uh, you know, to take to at, you know, as of right now. So it's definitely exciting. We'll have to see if I get it. Depends on the timing of when it comes out versus when a lot of other games come out. But this is, you know, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. These are very, there's no doubting it. You know, I'm not blind to the fact that that these specific three games are very, very important to people, very important to the open world genre, very important to GTA in general. So this is a, you know, this is a very important
important thing that could happen. Obviously, again, not confirmed. This is not confirmed, but this is a report that, seen, you know, this is, I mean, it's as close to confirmed as you're going to get until they say something, which I do think would probably be pretty soon, maybe even Gamescom, because I feel like you got to announce it soon because it comes out in around two or so months. You, you probably have to announce it, uh, you know, at some point in August. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships, we have all of that stuff. All the links are in the description below if you guys want to check it out, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.